volume of presents. Many people need to understand very well how to accurately calculate the volumes. The volume of a 3D chip is the number of cubes needed to fill um, the inside of the chip. So how many one centimeter cubes will fill the rectangular prism? If it needs 16 one centimeter cubes, so the volume of the rectangular prism is 16 centimeter cube. How many cubes does this prism hold? We are going to multiply the number of cubes in the dimensions. So we have one for the height, three for the width, and five for the length. So just we will just multiply five times three times one to go fifteen. The same idea I have. The height here is two, and the width is three, since the length is five. So I multiply five times three times two to get the number of the uh, small unit cubes, or the volume of the rectangular prism. The height here is three, the width is four, and the length is six. So six times four times three is the volume of the rectangular prism. Then to find the volume of the rectangular brain, we just need to multiply the dimensions altogether. In a different way, we need to find the area of the base multiplied by the height, because the length times the width is the area of the base. The given rectangular prism here contains a height of five centimeters, um, width of seven centimeters, and length of 10 centimeters. And then to find the area of the base, I need to multiply less width or LW. So 10 times seven is 70. 70 is the area of the base, but if we need to find the volume, I need to multiply this area by 5, so 70 times 5 is 350. So we have a formula here. The volume of prism is the area of the base multiplied by the height. And we don't care, or uh, this formula is applicable for the a trapezoid prism, rectangular prism, triangular prism, uh, or a cylinder as well. But for the cylinder, the base is a circle, that's why the area of the base is by a square. For the rectangular prism, the area of the base is length width. For the triangular prism, the area of the base is half pH. And for the trapezoid prism, the area of the trapezoid is a half a, B, a plus B multiplied by H, or a half H multiplied by um, the, two, the addition of two bases. <laughs> Example of a triangular prism. The base here is a triangle with dimensions of height, four centimeters, and base is eight centimeters. So to find the area of the base, I multiply half times eight times four, which is 16 centimeters square. And to find the volume, I multiply by the um, length, which is six. So 16 times six is 96 centimeters cubed. 
This uh, trapezoid rhizome contains two bases in the base, 6.5 centimeters and 1.5 centimeters. And the distance between them or the height is 4.2 centimeters. So applying the formula to find the area of the um, trapezium, um, we need to uh, write half and multiply by the addition of the bases times the height to get 16.8 centimeters squared. If we need the volume, then we need to multiply by the, the height between the trapezoid ends or between the bases, which is eight. So 16.8 times eight is 134 centimeters cubed. Volume of cylinder prism is the same idea, but we, we just first to need needs to find the um, area of the base. So if we have a radius of three centimeters, the area of this piece is by r squared or by three squared or nine by or 28.27 centimeters square. If we need to find the volume, I still need to multiply by the height of the cylinder, which is five centimeters. So multiply the area by five to go 141.37 centimeters cube. If we have an irregular prism, so regular prism means the base is not a shape that we can find easily its area. But in this case, he will give us the area of the base. So if the area of the base in, um, here is 24 meters squared, and we need to find the volume, so we just write, uh, multiply the area times the height. So 24 times 1.6. Some work formulas of different prisms. The formula of rectangular prism, LWH, just multiply everything. So if I have the length eight with four, five, six, then we multiply eight times four times six. Triangular, because the base here is a triangle, so I multiply by half. So half pH for the area of the triangle times H which is the height of the prism. The volume of the cylinder is by R squared times H. That was everything today and thank you for watching.